Hey everybody! Today I want to quickly talk about the two most important comping patterns that a pianist should know if they're playing in a jazz ensemble. And both of these come from traditional drum patterns, and the first one we're going to look at is called the Charleston, and it comes from traditional New Orleans swing music. It's also the name of the dance that people did when they danced along to this traditional rhythm. And it sounds like this, a one, a two, a one, two, three. Charleston, Charleston, Charleston. Kind of sounds like you're going long, short, long, short, long, short. So if I were gonna play this comping during a toe bar blues, and the band is swinging, the swung eighth notes happening, might sound like this. One, a two, Charleston rhythm. You can also practice it with just one note if you don't know chords. So that's the Charleston. And that works really well anytime you're doing anything swinging, so if the eighth notes are swung. So that Charleston pattern works well if you're comping for a swing tune, but what about if you're playing something with straight eights? You might want something different. And one thing that will work really well for that is a pattern called the clave pattern. So the clave rhythm comes from Afro-Cuban music and Afro-Cuban drumming. And the word clave is also the word for the instruments people will play a lot in this percussion section in Afro-Cuban bands, which is these two wooden sticks and they play them like this. So the clave pattern is a group of three notes followed by a group of two notes like this. A one, a two, a one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, uh, 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 uh. So if I practice this again over my F blues that I practice the Charleston over, I'm going to just try that in my right hand and I'll try to keep a steady tempo. And even if you can't put your left hand in, that's okay. You can just practice it on one note or just tap it with your feet. Anything's fine. The rhythm is the most important thing. A one, two, three, and go. doing my Charleston patterns and my Son Clove patterns, one thing that's kind of fun if you're just stuck at home and you're bored like me, you can take the iRealBook app, the iReal Pro if you have it on your phone or you can borrow someone's phone, and down at the bottom, I'll try to show you, you might be able to see it, where it has your time feel, you can put it on jazz, Latin slash swing. And what that will do is the drum pattern and the bass pattern will change between that swing feel and more of an Afro-Cuban feel. So you get the chance to practice both of these rhythms we just learned. Okay, so I'll give it a try, and I'm gonna try doing both of my comping patterns, so the clave and the Charleston at different times. And I'll listen to when the drums switch to help me switch my own patterns. Because that's an important thing too, is knowing when you should play what. All right, let's give it a try. Clave first. Charleston and your song clave patterns. 
and that will help you be a more supportive band member by providing those really strong rhythms for everybody else to latch on to. Thanks for watching, hope that helped.